Sega. Ah, one problem with cartridge based systems is over time all the moisture and crap in the air builds up against metal surfaces and um, basically causes the contacts to get dirty. So I'm going to show you how to open this Game Gear cartridge and clean the contacts. Okay, good, let's move on. First thing you'll need is a Game Bit screwdriver to um, open it up. Now on a Game Gear they are 3.8mm on the back. So let's just pop our game bit into there to open this Game Gear cartridge. Now some Game Gear cartridges apparently um, slide, oh, sorry, slide down and then lift off. These ones don't. These ones quite simply pull out. So pull out there. See there's a little flange there. And then out and down. And we can see our Game Gear cartridge inside. Now you're only really worried in a Game Gear about this side of the cartridge because that's the bit that gets all furred up. Now I'm going to zoom in, hopefully. Zoom out a bit more and see. And I'm going to put a harsher light on the proceeding so you can see the furring on the pins as it were or the pads or the contacts or whatever you want to call them. Now in order to clean this I'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol. Um, other compounds you can use are Brasso. Now Brasso will eat the top layer of these um, pins if you leave it on too long but it does clean very effectively for very 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 corroded pins um, and if you have got a completely corroded pin you can use a silver pen too fill that back in, a demister pen they're called in the UK. Um, so I'm going to go and get myself a clean cotton bud, like this one. I'm going to get myself some isopropyl alcohol, like this here. Wet my thing. Now the reason we use isopropyl alcohol is it's a wetting agent in many respects, although it contains no water, so you can't really say it's wetting anything because science, but yeah, we can see crud coming up of there already. Good old rub. And we can see instantly that those pins are much, much cleaner. I like to get the dry end of the cotton bud now and go and give them a bit of a squeaky buff. Squeaky buffer, squeaky buffer, squeaky buffer. This cartridge was working, by the way. I'd already cleaned all mine, but I just wanted to show how to revive them. You can see some crap there, I think. Just about, I might need to block a bit of the light. So you can, yeah, there you go. That's come off of those pins. Don't forget to clean the um, contacts in your Game Gear regularly as well. I might make a video on that because they are big dust catchers. I mean, big dust catchers because the port is upwards. One of the reasons that Nintendo tries to design ports now with a downward slant. Just pushing off now, I can see in the light. Okay, good. Once you've done that, all that remains to be done is to pop your cartridge back together, keeping an eye on the tabs. Pop your screw back in. It's my wife arriving. Hear that? And screw the cartridge up like that. Jobs are good. Sega! Thanks for watching. Subscribe to get your fix.